Deer Game Night continues right now. We want to focus on the different types of grasses between the states and Scotland. Obviously, they contrast quite greatly. We'll get Martin's thoughts in just a moment. We're first, we'll check in with a good friend from the Golf Course Superintendents Association, John Jennings from Chicago Golf Club. He's going to talk us through it. If you haven't had the opportunity to play golf on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, there are some significant differences between Scotland and American golf. The primary difference is weather. In Scotland, it's not uncommon to have rainy, cold, windy weather during the week of the British Open. During that same time period in the United States, many of the states are sweltering in heat with thunderstorms, rain, and humid conditions. Soil types are very different, too, between the two areas. The United States typically has more of a loam or clay loam soil, where Scotland has sand, which makes a big difference in how the golf course grows and how it's maintained and how the ball plays upon it. There are a few pockets of air, pocketed areas throughout the United States where, where there are pure veins of sand that golf courses are built upon, and they replicate the Scottish golf courses as close as possible without actually being in Scotland. Another factor to take into consideration is the difference in budgets. Typically, a Scottish golf course will have between seven and ten people with a greenkeeper taking care of the golf course. It's typical in the United States to have 20 plus people taking care of an 18-hole golf course. The maintenance levels in the United States are much different. That's because of the weather differences and the type of grass that you're growing and the soil conditions. The final aspect of the differences between Scottish and American golf are how the shot itself is played. The Scottish soil is very sandy, providing an area for a firm bump and run game. Where in the United States with a loam and clay loam soils, the ball's pretty much going to stop where you hit it. By playing a bump and run shot in Scotland, especially during adverse weather conditions, you don't have to worry about the wind catching the ball and having it carry off somewhere where you didn't want it to. In the United States, for the most part, you don't have these extreme weather conditions coming off the ocean. Either side of the Atlantic Ocean, there is great golf, but you have to understand that there are significant differences between the two.